As kids, we used to count on our knuckles to remember the number of days in a month, but the depression in the knuckle symbolized 30 days and the knucklehead symbolized 31 days. But this rule never worked for February as it's the only month of the year that has 28 days or 29 days if it's a leap year. But have you ever imagined why February is different from all the other months and only has 28 days? What's the reason behind this and who decided to make February special than all the other months? In this video, we will answer all these questions in detail. So let's begin the video. There's a story behind February only having 28 days that goes back to 753 BC. The first king of Rome, Romulus, had some real problems with the rapidly increasing number of festivals, feasts, military ceremonies, and even religious celebrations. And to keep a record of all of this, the Romans decided to have a calendar to organize all of them. As the ancient astronomers had some accurate calculations for the time between two solar equinoxes, but they also had an easy pie chart in the sky to track the passage of time. And just like many other cultures, early Rome also worked off a lunar calendar. In the beginning, the Romulan calendar had 10 months of 30 or 31 days. It began in March and ended in December. Well, the problem which arises here was that the year in this calendar was almost 61 days short. However, the Romans ignored it and used to start the new year on the new moon before the spring equinox that was March. Now comes the second king of Rome, Numa Pompilius. He figured out something else and edited the Roman calendar in his way. Ancient Rome associated even numbers with bad luck, so Numa started to edit the calendar by removing a day from all even-numbered months to make them odd. Numa wanted that his calendar covers 12 cycles of the moon, but in that case, it would have been 354 days and that is an even number, so he rounded it to 355. The remaining days were put into two new months, January with 29 days and February with 28 days, and that's how February got 28 days. Yeah, now you will be wondering that February is an even month, but even numbers were considered as bad luck. February was dedicated to spiritual purification, so Romans considered it to let that one slide. The story doesn't end here. Despite being very powerful in the world, obviously the Romans couldn't change the rules of the universe. Their calendars were mainly based on their beliefs, due to which they didn't add up anywhere close to the time it takes to orbit around the sun. Just after a few years passed, the seasons started getting out of whack with the months. That's where it gets a little bit confusing. February was split into two parts, the first 23 days and the rest of them. As Numa's calendar was merely based on superstitions, it became out of line with seasons of more or less than 10 days. To solve this issue, the last few days of February were ignored every other year. A 28-day leap month was added after February 29th. Well, this also averaged to almost 366 days a year. After every 19 years, the solar and lunar years line up. So this system could have worked if we added enough leap months to keep the seasons in the correct order. Unfortunately, those leap months were added according to a plan by politicians so they can extend their term. Then, in 49 BC, Julius Caesar came into power. He spent most of his time in Egypt where calendars compromised 365 days. He introduced a solar calendar in Rome. 10 days were added to each month, which totaled 365 days, and added a leap day after February 29th every four years. That's all for today. See you in the next video with another interesting topic.